excited about Sandpiper's mission to Sedna, but we've got wheel lunges today. Come on, Coach. How can we think about doing exercises when Sandpiper is scheduled to return any minute? Sandpiper is so amazing. She's my hero. Hey, I thought I was your hero. I heard Sandpiper landed on Sedna, and she's bringing back core samples. What is Sedna, anyway? It's a dwarf planet, about the size of Pluto's moon Charon, but three times farther from the sun. No one's been out that far before. Oh, cool. All right, all right, settle down, kids. I can see we're not going to be doing any log lifts today. Sandpiper is one of Stardust Space Fleet's greatest explorers, holder of the Neptune Marathon record, and returning from a deep space mission to Sedna. In fact, she should be entering Earth's atmosphere right about now. Attention, all personnel, please report to Mission Control. We have a level one emergency. Uh, class is canceled. Mayday, Mayday, my thrusters are not responding. Mayday, Mayday, I have complete engine failure. Repeat, engine failure. I'm going down! Sandpiper requesting assistance. I need help! We know she went down somewhere in the ocean, around this location. Is her radio still transmitting? No, we've lost all contact. Well, let's go find her! No, Eagle, wait. There is an additional problem. At the depth where Sandpiper went down, the water pressure is too great for any of us to withstand. I don't understand. Isn't it just water? Ah, but water is much heavier than air, Cadet. Our bodies can travel through the vacuum of space, or with the weight of the air on us. But if we go too deep underwater, the pressure is like having the entire ocean on top of you. Here, I'll demonstrate what we're talking about. Observe what happens to a barrel of fuel as it sinks to the bottom. See? The heavy weight of the water creates pressure great enough to damage even a steel barrel. If Sandpiper sank to the bottom of the ocean, she could be seriously injured. So we need to rescue her. But how? Ideas? Suggestions, anyone? I'm sure I could get to her with a tow line. Too dangerous. You saw what happened to the barrel. Maybe if we lowered a long rope. But we don't know her exact location. Do we have some sort of special capsule for underwater missions? We do. Yeah, I've been working on an experimental deep water submarine that's designed to protect us from intense water pressure. There's just one problem. It's a scale model, far too small for any of us to fit into. Even for me? Starling! Are you okay in there? Totally cool. Starling, usually we would never ask a junior racer to go on such a challenging mission. But these are not normal circumstances. Just tell me what to do, sir. You'll need to find Sandpiper, attach a cable line, and tow her back up to the surface. Got it. And we'll be with you the whole time via the onboard video monitor and voice interface. But there is no way for us to know what you will encounter down there. So you may have to adjust your plan based on what you observe and learn. Remember to keep your eyes and ears open. Aye, aye, sir. Nervous? A little. Don't worry, Sprout. You'll do great. 
According to my calculations, Sandpiper probably drifted to this point here. Eyes and ears open. Got it. Are you ready, Starling? Ready as I'll ever be. Good luck, then. Mission is a go. Activate propellers. It's getting darker. That's because less sunlight is able to get through the water. Okay, Starling. Now head towards Sandpiper's last known position. It's completely dark down here. How's the sub holding up? Well, I'm hearing a lot of funny rattling noises, but everything seems to be working. If you run into trouble, return to the surface immediately. Uh, you're starting to break up. If you start to lose communication, just remember, don't panic. If you just... Mr. Rocket Baby. Eyes and ears open. What do you see, Mr. Rocket Baby? What's that? You see a clue? Wait, I really do see a clue. Paint chips. Purple paint chips. The same color as Sandpiper. What's this? Fuel? It must be closed now. Sandpiper! <sighs> Cadet, how did you find me? We didn't know where you were. I saw your paint floating in the water and followed it to the cloud of fuel, which led me to you. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm really meeting the famous Sandpiper. You are my total hero. You're a role model to me and, and millions of... Whoa, whoa, slow down. Uh, first of all, what's your name, dear? Starling, I'm a junior space racer. I like your little sub. Thanks, I'm supposed to tow you to the surface. Can you move? I'm afraid that's a negative, Junior Space Racer. My engines aren't working. Oh, it's a good thing you landed on this ledge. If you had fallen all the way to the bottom... Well, let's make sure that doesn't happen. How about that tow line? We have to get it around your body. Whoa, easy. The rock is giving way. If I can't get the cable around you, uh, maybe you can just grab it. No can do, Starling. My wings are broken. I can't grab anything. So what are we going to do? We're going to have to work together to come up with a new plan. Okay, well, maybe I could repair your engines. Not very likely. Did you bring any spare parts? No, I just have Mr. Rocket, baby. <laughs> okay, so have either of you seen anything useful? Well, we saw a bunch of scary seaweed that looked like Mr. Vulture. <laughs> yes, I saw that too. But Vulture's head is bigger. <laughs> there was also a bunch of space junk floating around in the water. Wait, what kind of space junk? Hmm, uh, debris from satellites, some old tires, a bunch of booster rockets. Booster rockets? Starling, you're a genius. A homemade evacuation sled. We'll get you into the booster, and then I'll tow it to the surface. Sounds like a plan. You ready, Starling? Ready as I'll ever be. Here we go. <clears throat> it's heavy. You can do it. Come on, pull. Yay, it's working. Oh, how 
long has it been? Too long. I hope she's okay. Starling! Huh? What on earth? Cadet Starling has returned to the surface with Sandpiper. Mission success. <laughs> you did it, Starling. Kept your eyes and ears open, observed your surroundings, followed the clues until you found Sandpiper, and then created a tool to rescue her. I'm very proud of you. Me too. I'm proud of me too. But I couldn't have done it without you and the whole team. Oh, and Mr. Rocket Baby. I never got a chance to thank you, Starling. You're a very brave ship. Well, I had to volunteer. You're my hero! <laughs> no, you're my hero. <laughs> <laughs>